It will happen to all of us. Some, like those in cities far northern than Melbourne, got it sooner than we did. I will never marry. I will never see the future in its glory as it stands, and the life I laid out and planned ahead remains thoughtless fantasy in a cloud of ruminations from a bygone era. This war has stolen my future. In a selfish twist of fate, something that lasted less than a month has damned humanity for the forever of forevers. And like the twisting threads of time demand, and the looming radiation decreed, I have left the onset of this illness for under a week. It is true what they said. It would happen to us all. I had only rang him to say goodbye. Good night to my love as he descends to his burial at sea with his crew. He won't be coming back, as most everyone in the northern and southern hemispheres won't be either. As won't I. This is my moment. I let out a breath of smoke and stepped into the sunlight, staring into the mirror, a lone wanderer staring at defeat. I don't look like myself. Paler, thinner, exhausted. My final concert goes as such. I, a nearly bared-headed, pale-faced girl in a crimson costume, leave my home, slightly intoxicated. Driving a big car at speed, I pass Laverton with its big aerodome, Berebeer with its experimental farm, I went flying down the now deserted road. Somewhere before Corio, a spasm shook me suddenly. I had to stop and retire to the bushes. Then I went on, fast as ever. At the end of the long and winding roads, I turned left and away from the golf links and so many happy hours of childhood had been spent knowing now I would never see it again. I turned right at the bridge, twenty miles to ten, and passed up onto the headland. The sea laid before me, grey and rough with great rollers coming in from the south onto the rocking beach. The ocean was empty and grey beneath the overcast sky, but to the east there was a break in the clouds and the shaft of light striking down onto the waters. I had parked across the road in full view of the sea, got out of my car, took another drink, and scanned the horizon. I stood dumbly, watching the misty horizon and waves roll to shore. This was the end of it, the very, very end. I looked at my watch, it was just one minute past ten. In those moments my childhood religion came back to me and, a little alcoholically, I murmured the Lord's Prayer. Then, I opened the small red vial and held the tablets in my hand. A spasm shook me and I smiled faintly. Then, I removed the cork from my bottle. I placed the tablets into my mouth and swallowed them down with a mouthful of brandy, sitting behind the wheel of my big car. <laughs>